So being called in. And they're off and racing for the Betfred Manifesto Novices Chase, a grade one contest over two and a half miles. Crystal Bonus leads stable companion Alpha Roth towards the first. Alpha Roth jumps it by far the more fluent of the two to the extent that actually jumps right alongside the stable companion as they head on towards the second. In third place early on is Menora, just ahead of Pepite Rose and Alasi who's taking a keen hold. So Alpha Roth's being allowed to stride on as Alasi didn't really concentrate on the fence there. She's inclined to race keenly, and as a result, she clattered her way through it as they approach the open ditch, which is number three. Alpha off pops over in front from in second, Crystal Bonus. In third is Menorah, ahead of Pepite Rose in the stripes towards the outside. Alasi continuing to fight Dominic Ellsworth as they reach number four. And so far, they've all jumped really well. One exception being Alasi's mistake at the second, but now they'll turn towards the cross fence with Alpha Roth for Ruby Walsh, jumped alongside Crystal Bonus at the first, took it up on the approach to the second, and the grey still leading by about a length and a half. Crystal Bonus in second, Menorah in third in the blue with the light blue hoop, then Pepite Rose in the stripes, and Alasi still racing keenly as they approach fence number five again. They're all over well with Alpha Roth, the market leader, cutting out the running from Crystal Bonus in second. Menorah, who's jumped soundly to this point, in third, just ahead of in fourth place, Pepite Rose. And last of the five is Alasi. So the ladies in waiting at the back of the field in fourth and fifth as they head on towards number six. And Alpha Roth it is, who's cutting out the running and got into a nice rhythm, as indeed the whole field have, although again, Alasi is the one that's a little clumsy and just uh, picked a bit of the birch up on the way as they head towards the second of the open ditches, which is number seven. So Alpha off the grey, puts in a short stride to jumps it neatly and economically from Crystal Bonus. Pepite Rose now herself taking closer order on the outside of Menorah. It's only been a steady to even pace as Crystal Bonus now moves back alongside Alpha off on the approach towards number eight. So Crystal Bonus on the right, the grey Alpha off on the left, Left. Menorah just behind with Pepite Rose and Alasi as they reach the next, at which Menorah, who's jumped very soundly so far this afternoon, puts himself briefly in the firing line. So Crystal Bonus with his head back in front from Alpha Roth, the grey in second place. In third is Menorah, just ahead of Pepite Rose and Alasi. Having pulled hard, it suggests the tempo might be increasing slightly, and just for a stride or two, Ruby Walsh just niggled Alpha Roth along to hold the deficit to a length as they went round that turn as Crystal Bonus moves on. Alpha Roth in second place, Menora is third, Pepite Rose a length away in fourth, and at the rear of the field is Alasi. So they turn into the back straight, Crystal Bonus leading with a circuit under their belts as he was a circuit ago. It was at this fence that Alpha Roth put in a flying leap to join him, and uh, this time he does just about round alongside, but Menora and Pepite Rose are certainly close enough, and at the rear of the field is Alasi. So Alpha off on the outside of Crystal Bonus as they approach the next Menorah and Pepite Rose heading towards the next fence at which Menorah did just brush through the top. First semblance of any mistake from him. And Ruby Walsh on Alpha off heads towards the ditch on the outside of Crystal Bonus. Pepite Rose still travels well. Then Menorah, they dispute third, and Alasi just runs down the fence and is in danger of losing touch. The last on the far side is five from home. Alpha off the grey on the outside of Crystal Bonus. Menorah reached for that in third and made a mistake, left the mark in the fence to tell the tale. Pepite Rose, the mare, still travels strongly towards the outside side in fourth and Alasi is now seemingly beaten off. So Alpha off just continuing to have to be niggled along on the outside of Crystal Bonus as they head towards the cross fence which is four from the finish. Menora continuing to wait in the wings as is Pepite Rose yet to play her hand. So four from home Alpha off is over. Again Menora jumps up between the principals and Pepite Rose and Alpha off's going to have to try and press on to run the finish out of some rivals that are travelling equally as well as they turn in. So Alpha off and Crystal Bonus. Menora and Pepite Rose, these four turn for home. Once again, round the bend, Crystal Bonus corners better. Alpha off with Menora coming there strongly as they take the first in the straight. Alpha off lands awkwardly as well. Pepite Rose yet to play the hand. Down then racing towards the final ditch. Menora moves through with Crystal Bonus. Alpha off pulled towards the outside. It's going to be a good three lengths down and it's Menora who's moved through the lead from Crystal Bonus. Alpha off is back in third, then Pepite Rose down towards the last and Menora who this season has been so hit 
Ennis with his jumping has put it all together so far and comes down to the last in the Betfred Manifesto. Novice's chase with seemingly one fence between himself and victory. Menorah comes in, sees a stride and for once has put it all together on a big day. Crystal Bonus second alpha off is struggling to hold off for Beat Rose but up towards the line just as 12 months ago. Philip Hobbs, Richard Johnson, Diana Waitley, this time Menorah puts it all together and wins. In second place, Crystal Bonus, Alpha off, well beaten in third, Pepite Rose in fourth and a lassie last of the five. If you're going to cut the mustard over fences suddenly, a grade one is the time to do it and that's exactly what Menorah has done, the winner of the Supreme a few seasons back and he has now won this Betfred Manifesto Novices Chase. He's been fifth in the champion hurdle in his time as well. Rich Johnson and Philip Hobbs teaming up. He also was third in the Arkle and has beaten readily Crystal Bonus for Dal Jacob and Paul Nichols. Third, a muted performance from Alpha Roth. Ruby Walsh, uh, perhaps at the end of the first circuit, already not being entirely happy with him, but we'll review that in the race with Mark. Paul Nichols, second and third, and fourth was for Peter.